today we're going to talk about lout cases they sent me three of them and i'm going to go over each one and tell you my thoughts on these cases the first case we're going to go into is the crystal matter and i believe this is one of their newest line or the newer line of cases for the design it's pretty simple it has a bumper like design and just a clear back so to show off your apple logo and your color for the sides it does have these wavy edges which makes it easier to grab and hold and since the back plate is plastic, it does collect a lot of fingerprints. It is really easy to get your phone in and out of this case, and I do like the button's colors as well. It does match with the nice gray on the bumpers. It is pretty tactile for the most part. You do need to give a little bit more push than usual, but it is still pretty responsive. With the 20 feet drop protection, I thought this case would be super bulky, super thick, and pretty much like an OtterBox type of case, but it's actually not. It's really slim, and if you really like slim cases and still have plenty of protection, definitely this is going to be your case. Next up is the shield case, which is my favorite one out of all three. I'm a really big fan of the texture and the grippiness on the back, so I know that I'm not going to drop this case at all. And since this case is a bit more narrow than the other ones, it does fit in my hands better and I do have a better grip on it. And since these buttons do stick out a lot more than I like, these buttons are really tactile. And I'm not really feeling the silver buttons on this black case. If this case was all white, then I would say the color combo looks really good. Now if the buttons were black, gray, or gunmetal, then I would say this whole case will look really sleek. This case also has a 13 feet drop protection, which is still surprising to me because how slim this case is and how much protection it offers. So I would say this is a perfect case for someone who just wants a super slim case with great drop protection and also have a super nice grip as well. The next case we're gonna talk about is called the Exo Frame. And this case, I honestly don't want to drop at all. It is like a bumper style case where the sides have the design and the back is just super clear. And since we do have a clear back, it is very fingerprint heavy. So the sides are made out of aluminum. So so if I drop this case, I feel like it's going to scuff and if it's going to scuff, I would feel it all the time. So that's why I said I don't want to drop this case. It does look the most premium and it does feel a lot more expensive than other cases. It does give that super sleek look to your phone, but the only downside for me is the tactile of the buttons. The volume buttons does okay, it does do its main job, but the power button, you would really have to hit the middle to actually get it to work. Because if you do hit it on the very corners or if you press on the very corners, it's not going to register. So you would have to always hit the middle of the power button to actually get it to work. So the button tactility and how it works, um, I would say is not the best. And since the sides are made out of aluminum, it does feel really smooth. Some people do like that, but I would say that if you don't get a good grip of your case, it's going to slip out of your hands really easily. Another con for me is how hard this is to take out. I wish there were some sort of nudge or somewhere to put my fingernail in because right now I would have to pry it in between the metal frame and a plastic piece to nudge it out. So those are my thoughts on all of the Lao cases. Thanks to them for sending me to give you my thoughts on each one. I'm truly surprised how much drop protection they offer for something so slim. So if you want something protective and something not bulky at all, then the Crystal Matter is something to look at. So if you're interested in any of these products, I do have links down below. Please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.